Hi, so I'm here again today with Karen Yarbrough, the Cook County Clerk, and we're talking about the election that's coming up. And today's topic is specifically about early voting. Karen, thanks for being here. It's always a pleasure, Lee. Uh, we're actually seated roughly 12 feet apart from each other, uh, practicing social distancing. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we can actually look at each other. Yes, we can. That's nice. <laughs> So, so tell us a little bit more about why people should consider early voting this election. You know, Lee, I used to always pride myself in voting on election day. There's something exciting about voting on election day. The camaraderie, seeing people you don't see, you know, particularly every day. However, I got used to voting by mail because it's convenient. And so people should, if with this particular election, they need to make a plan and then plan their vote. I've already made that plan and I plan to, I've already um, requested my ballot. I expect it in the mail any day now and I plan to review my choices and I plan to drop it in a drop box. Great. So when, when can you vote early in Cook County in the city of Chicago? So in the, in Cook County, you can early vote on the 19th of October. Um, there are some dates, uh, October 7th, I believe for somebody who's not registered to vote, they can actually register and vote on the 7th of October. Uh, in the city of Chicago, they will be starting that process on October 1st. So is there a website that people can go to if they want I'm to I'm glad email? you asked, Lee. Um, all the information that you'll ever want to know is at cookcountyclerk.com. Everything is there. Go to that website, click on elections, and you'll see an array of, of uh, information there that can answer each and every question that you ever have for elections for this particular election. And I know the last election cycle, you told me about that. I actually did it. It only took less than, this is about a minute time. If it and, takes that and, long. And the ballot came and it was easy. What was nice is I had time to look up the different races. I could use my computer, I could do my research and be thoughtful uh, with access to more than my smartphone. So I could actually read things while I was voting. So it was a nice experience. Easy peasy, that's what I say. And you know, you can give um, some time to actually looking at your selections. You can go online and research the candidates and make good, solid choices. Yeah, and just so you know, um, my daughter voted for the first time in this election. Oh. And we took her to early voting in person. And I asked, can I early vote instead? Because I was there. And they said I could, but it would be a provisional ballot that yes. would get counted until later. So I thought that, it seemed at least there was a check and balance. Your team knew that I had already requested a mail-in ballot. Yes. And they had that checkup. But if I wanted to, to vote in person, I could have, you know, so like if I lost my ballot, I could still vote. It's just a provisional uh, yes. ballots don't get counted and we until want, later. Yeah, we want people to understand that process too, because I'm suggesting to people to go ahead and order a ballot. Go ahead, fill out the application. Like you said, it only takes a minute or so to do that. When your ballot comes, make a determination at that point. Do I plan to you know, fill this out and mail it in, or do I plan to drop it in a Dropbox, or do I plan to maybe do like some others who have suggested to me that they plan to, plan the uh, doing that would be their backup plan just in case they can't get to the polling place on election day. So I, I'm encouraging anybody and everybody to mm -hmm. please, you know, order your ballot, get your ballot, do your research, and obviously vote. So you can actually take your mail in ballot and if you're concerned that it's going to be held up at the post office, you can drop by any polling place? We have right now over 60 early voting sites. And so if you've gotten your ballot and you want to drop it off at a, at a drop box, you can do that. You do not have to stand in line and we'll have one of our election workers standing right there. So outside there's actually... Inside, inside. <laughs> inside, there will be a box that you can put your ballot in and there'll be somebody right in front of that. You will not have to stand in line. Okay. So what, what if someone lives outside of Cook County? 
Somebody who lives outside of Cook County, you mean that um, you, maybe really somebody don't. in the in in the uh, military? We abs that's what absentee voting is all about. And you know we've been doing that since the Civil War. Um, complete your ballot, send in for your ballot, complete your ballot, and mail it in. Do you have any concerns about uh, people voting more than once? We do not, because we put a number of uh, things in place to make sure that kind of thing does not happen. One thing we have election judges that you know they're sworn in and they review every sing single signature. You know you have to sign, so they will do that. Each person has a identification number, okay, that's only germane to you. So that way we know it's you. So if Mickey Mouse shows up, Mickey Mouse is not going to be able to vote because Mickey Mouse does not have this voter code that we have. Finally, you know, we have a, a uh, we've, we've just gone through every idea and, and had people to kind of test to make sure that we are ready for the November election to make sure that people, you know, do the right thing. And that's what we're telling them to do. Do the right thing. At the end of the day, too, we also do, we uh, check out 5% of the ballots to make sure, at, you know, after the election that they're right on target. And so finally, when is the last time, the last date that you can request uh, uh, that you can actually go in and vote early? Um, the last time that you can go in and vote early actually is November 3rd, which is election day. Okay, they can, they can vote that day, but the day before. So that would be November 2nd. Don't wait and do it then. Do it early. Well, thanks a bunch for being on the show. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. And vote. Oh, absolutely. Vote.